Yo, what is up? I'm back. I'm back. I'm back. Thanks to all the new subscribers. You know, much love. Thank you for showing love on the videos and whatnot. You know, keep me motivated to do this. Uh, also, too, for all you people that are in my comments with the negative shit, uh, yeah, I'm just going to start off by saying, suck my dick. You couldn't beat me. All right. So, for today's team, because it was requested, I will be doing Juventus. We all know this is Juventus, right? Now, as you see, I have them in a four, two, three, one, narrow. Boom. Hit that. As you see, I put more keen in and striker just because he has 85 pace because the instructions that I have him on is not a get him behind. Obviously, he's faster than the rest of the strike force, even Dybala. But you got to keep Dybala in. Got to keep Dybala. So go ahead and uh, look at the squad real quick. You see Bernadeschi out on the left. You see Chiesa out on the right. Caria in the middle with uh, Artur, Alexandro, Chiellini, Dilic, and Quadrado. And then, of course, the main man, Chesney in the goal. I'm gonna hit you with the tactics. First off, it is a pressure on heavy touches. With 45, def 60. Now the build up, I know this will not make sense because I probably used it in my last video and it worked. Long ball possession. The thing what I like to do with teams that don't really have a, a lot of, you know, fast players, a lot of people with a lot of agility and whatnot, you know, five star skills and can just really move on the ball. For possession, gives you an option to not have to pass forward and waste your attack, but long balls will push the defense back once they realize someone's breaking the line. The fence is going to go back, so it keeps the fence back, but also, too, you get enough time to dibble around with the ball to find that nice pass to get it into your striker and whatnot. So uh, with Whiff, we're going to do 60, nothing new. This time, instead of four in the box, I'm putting five in the box. Yeah, that's how many players I want to get in the box this time. Two on corners, three on free kicks. You already know how I do. For instructions, I have King on getting behind. That's the only instruction I have him on. For Dybala, I have stay forward because for some reason to this day, your cams in this game will come and play left back or some weird position instead of trying to stay in the middle of the field. So I just keep them on stay forward. I meant to put them back on to get into the box for crosses. For uh, Benedeschi and Chiesa, naturally what they're going to do in this formation is come back to defend anyways. So I just have them on get in the box for crosses. I don't touch anything else. Just in the box for crosses. For my midfield here, these two guys here, I figured which one would be better to carry the ball since uh, Artur has four-star skills and a little bit better dribbling. I would much rather have him carry the ball. I was looking through the whole midfield of seeing who's gonna be the one to carry the ball up the pitch to get the passes in behind and who's gonna stay behind and defend. And this is what I came up with in the best scenario and whatnot. Artur, I have him on basic on everything, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, everything is basic. For Zakaria, we have him on cutting passing lanes and drop between defenders. Now, the drop between defenders, the reason why I did that is because if you see over here, I have Quadrado on balanced attack and overlap. So when Quadrado goes to make them runs up the pitch, it's going to have Zakaria drop back here and Dilla is going to go to right back or vice versa. Zakaria will just go to right back, Dilla will stay there, but he's going to drop in to maintain the defensive line. And that's really, it really has been working for me. Instead of just having them on, you know, stay back while attacking, I have him just drop between the defenders in general and then try to use my um, Artur or whoever I can grab onto to come and put pressure on the ball when the ball carrier is coming towards my defensive line. So with these two guys, I have them basically on same, just the normal stuff that you have them on, stay back while attacking. Alexandro, only thing I put on him was stay back while attacking to keep that back line, just to keep some type of shape because he, Quadrado is a better ball carrier, the smoother dribbler, and he might not be the better passer, but he's the smoother ball carrier. So I'd much rather carry the ball up the pitch, in my opinion, with Quadrado versus Alexandro, because you try to shift and turn with Alexandro, it's probably not going to be a good idea. Chesney, I have him come for crosses, keeper, sweeper. So that's just the basic um, things. If you see already that this formation, I don't know if I changed it or they came in a narrow formation. But what I did do for attacking is this right here. I put Chiesa as the left striker and King as the right striker. The reason why I put Chiesa as the left striker and like I did it like this, King has a three star weak foot. So I much rather him take his shots on his more preferred foot, which is his right foot. And even though Dybala's right foot is preferred, he has a four star weak foot. So it's 10 times better. I played Dybala because he lacks that like pace as Cam because he's still just a better ball carrier than both of these guys. Bernadeschi, left center mid. Artur is the right center mid, and then Zakaria as CDM. 
for the instruction on these guys in this formation. You see the tactics here, still pressure on heavy touch, 40, 60. And if you want, since it's already in attack mode and if you just normally on press on heavy touch, the reason I'm doing the attack is if I feel like the I'm either behind a goal or I just don't like how the Ford 4-2-3-1 is playing out. I just did this. Once again, long ball, direct passing this time. If you see right there in the little animations of what's gonna happen, that's why I do long ball, direct passing also too. In this formation, a lot of your build up play or your key plays come from these two guys right here, Bernard Dashke and Artur. And if you even want, if Artur starts to get tired or he's just too slow out here on this little flank, you could take Chiesa, move him back and do something like this. Take Chiesa, move him back, take Dybala, move Dybala as striker, Bernard Dashke, and boom, you can do that as well. For now, this is how I have the formation. And if it needs to be fixed, that's how, how I'd get uh, fixed in the game. Uh, for instructions i just have everyone on just get in behind get in behind stay forward get into the box for crosses that's where i put that on i leave my two midfielders on normal uh zakara i tell him drop between defenders like i said cut passing lanes alexandro stay back stay back and cordado make them overlap runs it's kind of the same thing it's just i made the formation even more narrow even more meta even more autopilot so yeah man that's this team i'm gonna go try to find a game this will be the first game so y'all will see the full full see if this formation actually works it, it is these tactics are gonna work they work and today's game who do we have who do we have psg of course is this a kit clash all right, it's not a kit clash, cool. And he's playing a narrow formation with PSG. This guy's about to be a sweat. Oh, bad ping starting off. Thought I was gonna bring out my keeper. This game might be chalk. I might actually leave this game. 155 ping, that's insane. Oh my God. Yeah, I might leave this game. Yeah, I'm gonna definitely leave this game. This ping is horrendous, bro. Where is this dude at in the world? I have to leave this game. This is insane. I might try to play through it. I'm gonna try to play through it. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm gonna play through it. This dude's not good. I just have to realize what he's gonna do. He's gonna just uh, speed boost the whole time. So I'm just have to watch out for that. Oh, Dybala. <sighs> that lack of pace. You're so wide. Oh, stop. Oh, bro, this delay is insane. Our tour, let's go. Hey, it don't matter, bro. I I'm telling you, bro. All you motherfuckers that's in my comments, bro. Look at my ping right now, bro. Look at these bars in the top and right here on the corner. It says 165 milliseconds. I get the game's not over, but any... Well, the, well I'm not going to say any connection, but all you PSG users, bro, you're not nice. I do it to you. Is that Chiesa? Oh, perfect. Oh no, I did it too early. See right there, that drop between defenders, covering the center. Mardeski. Mardeski. Pass back. McKean, stop. Good pass. Big shot. Shoot near post. Let's go. Whoo! Another one bites the dust, bro. Another one bites the dust, bro. Another one bites the dust, bro. Let's go. The ball in the middle of the pitch. Ah! Gonna go over the top. He's looking for that over the top pass. Nope. Oh, look at you, bro. 
Look at you, bro. This is probably how most of the people who use PSG play, bro. Like, you cut off that passing lane or switch to defender showing that you know what he's gonna do. He gets lost, bro. This is why I hate playing this fucking team. It's not even the team. It's the players that use this fucking team. Y'all suck. 95% of the time, y'all suck. And y'all use this team to compensate for how trash you are at this fucking game. It's absurd. We got impressed after possession loss. Read it yesterday. That's a foul. Thank you. Let's go. Another one bites the dust. Nice king. Open pitch. Ball roll. Ah. Uh, shoot. Let's go. Oh, that was some BS. Right, I need to stop playing around in my defensive half. But Pedrado takes the ball off the pitch. Oh, now we start to quit. When it's 5-1, that's when you want to quit. Nope. Get out of my game, bro. Goodbye. Yep, thank you. All right, guys. And uh, that is how you use Juventus. As you see in bad connection against an OP team, that's how you do it. Thank you for watching. Till next time.